Hello, and welcome to Breathwork Bestie, the podcast that makes breathwork accessible. My name is Crystal Rose. I am a transformation coach and breathwork facilitator, and I am your host on this beautiful journey through breathwork. If you are new here or new to breathwork in general, I highly recommend you go back to our very first episode to get yourself feeling comfortable. If you've been with us before, welcome back. Now let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Crystal Rose and today I will be your breathwork bestie. I created today's session because I was reminded by a coaching session I actually had with a former coach of mine a couple years ago and what came through for me visually was so powerful and I thought why not share something like that with you? so that you can feel the power within yourself. Spread your wings and fly. So go ahead and get comfortable sitting up or lying down, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose and out the mouth. In through the nose, holding at the top. Release and again. Inhale through the nose, holding at the top. Release. And continue the breath. Nice, deep breaths. If at any moment you catch yourself breathing normally or breathing shallowly, just come back to a nice, gentle inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. That's it. And as you continue the breath, finding a place in your body to bring your awareness to, maybe starting at your feet, allowing your feet to pull you towards the earth, grounding you, grounding you, imagining roots coming from the bottoms of your feet going down, down, down to the earth, into the earth, deep into the earth, pulling your energy with it down, solid, that's it. Just keep circulating that breath. Keep moving that breath through your body and then just finding yourself, bringing your awareness to your heart, noticing the energy of your heart, noticing what's here without judgment. Maybe it feels light and open. Maybe it feels heavy and contracted. Maybe something different entirely. And just noticing here your heart, the energy of your heart, without placing judgment, that's it, without a story, whatever is here just gets to be here, so let it just be here and keep breathing, that's it, and then just doing a light scan from the top of your head down through your face, your throat, your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your legs, your feet, and just noticing what's here as you breathe. (sighs) That's it, keep breathing, keep going. And now take a nice deep, deep, deep cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and sink even deeper into your body. That's it. Even deeper. Now visualize or imagine through your eyes, through the first person, that you are standing on a ledge. It's one of those desert 
mesas. You're standing at the edge and you're looking down and you feel perfectly safe even though there might be a little bit of fear but you know you are so safe. You are safe to be here. You are safe to stand. And you notice as you look down you are holding in your left hand behind you the railing. There is a railing you are holding as you lean to look down. It is so far that you cannot see the bottom. It is almost as if it's an endless expanse of space. And as you look down, you think about all of the things that you desire. You think about all of the wonderful, incredible things that you are moving towards, even if you don't know how, even if you are uncertain of when or even if and you know there is a part of you that's just teetering teetering on the edge of everything you could have ever dreamed of being within your reach Maybe it's felt like you've been teetering for a long time. Maybe it feels like it's so close. You know it's so close, you can feel it. And your hand is still gripping the railing as you look down, as you teeter, as you know that everything you could have ever dreamed of is so close. And yet it feels so far away. On the count of three, you're going to let go of the railing and stand firm where you are. One, two, three. You unwrap your fingers from the railing. And you turn and face outward. You face the open expanse before you. There is no fear, only certainty certainty that you must let go in order to step into the version of you that gets to have all of those things you desire. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. And now zooming out, instead of seeing the world through your eyes, you are seeing you standing on top of that ledge. You are maybe 50 to 100 yards away and you can see you perfectly clearly. And as you focus on seeing you from this new vantage point, you can see yourself from afar. A sense of calmness comes through, a sense of ease, a sense of knowing, and as you watch yourself from afar, suddenly you see what you couldn't before, large, beautiful wings extending from your back. You are standing on this ledge, unaware of the wings behind you. But now, from this new vantage point, you can see them. You can see how strong they are. 
you can see how beautiful they are. And now you know you can trust yourself to make the leap. And as you take a nice deep inhale through the nose and out the mouth, you return to the first person in your body where you are seeing the world through your eyes. And you don't need to reach back at the wings because you know they are there and your confidence soars. And you know that you're no longer teetering at the edge of your dreams. You are at them. You are in them. You are living them. And that is the difference. That before you had separated yourself from all of those things that you desired. You kept wanting, you kept waiting instead of knowing that the power is within you to have them now. It all gets to be here now, you get to feel it now and knowing it's on its way to you. The more you feel it, the faster it takes to arrive, the sooner it gets here. And you bend your knees a little bit and jump. And instead of jumping and feeling your feet hit the ground again, you soar upwards. You soar upwards because you have wings. And you find yourself going higher and higher and higher and you can't even believe that you were once fearful of standing at the edge of that ledge because the ledge didn't matter. The fear didn't matter. None of it matters because it wasn't reality. The reality was you had the ability to fly this whole time. That holding on to the railing was a false sense of safety and that the only safety you need is within yourself. And so you fly higher and higher and you circle around and you do flips and somersaults and you go as high, as high as you possibly can, higher than you ever thought you could beyond the sky. The sky is not even the limit. And when you desire to, you float back down, allowing your feet to softly land on the ground and the realization that you are no longer held back by the ordinary and you are now propelled by the extraordinary settles in taking a deep breath and holding it at the top Release. (sighs) Finding yourself coming back to your body, letting a smile reach your lips. As you come back to the space, as you come back to a new body, a new mind, fluttering open your eyes only when you're ready and maybe placing a hand on your heart and just have this moment with yourself to just be here, knowing that anything is possible for you, that you can spread your wings and fly. You just have to let go of the railing first. I love you so much. I hope this session was as powerful for you as it was for me. Until next time. Goodbye, friend. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to share with a friend so that they can enjoy the gift that breathwork is as well. And if you have any questions, requests for future episodes, or just want to tag us in your stories and share which we would love. You can tag me and find me on Instagram at the embodied baddie. 
And if the mood strikes you, please, please write a review. We absolutely love, love, love getting reviews. And it really helps not only us, but other people make the decision on whether or not to try this podcast. Thanks again.